<laughs> yes, it's quite one off theater. Wow. Imagine gin. Gin, 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 gin. Imagine gin. Hello. Hopefully I don't get flagged for the Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader theme song, because this is one off theater. Oh my god, my ears! Oh my god! There we go. Let me turn this down. Holy crap. Okay. This game uses autosave. Okay. A new game. Actually, options. Okay, we're gonna... There we go. Oh, God. So, captions. Okay, now I can turn up gameplay audio manually. There we go. Holy crap, my ears. New game. So, we got quick play. Jump right in. No sign in. No game settings. Just start playing. Homeroom mode. Just like the TV show. Climb the money ladder and win a million. Battle of wits. Head-to-head -head test of knowledge against your friends. Score room showdown. A simultaneous action free-for-all. Answer the question as quickly as possible. Three and out. Gamer just knowing the answer isn't enough. Ooh. Okay, let's do homeroom. Some guy named Nate. Some guy named... Oh, I can toggle computers? Let's make the CPU skill level easy. I will admit that. Let's start the game with one player, though. You can use the 360 chat pad to type in your answers. Holy shit, really? That's awesome. Fifth grader, here comes John. Great Jeff Foxworthy. John Foxworthy as his cousin. I don't know the theme song, but it sounds like they say, Grab a pencil and some pieces of paper. All right, we're back in school. Oh my god. Look at Jeffrey Foxworthy. He's like, You might be smarter than a fifth grader. I trust Marley. I don't trust Tom. He looks like the fat kid from Grand Theft Auto V, but skinny. It's me. Hello. I'm running on stage. Hello, Jeff Foxworthy. I loved you in Racing Stripes. Thank you. Well, I tell you what. What, 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 what. <laughs> what would you do if you walked into a room and Jeff Foxworthy was just honking aggressively? The first question you get right will get you a thousand dollars. And then you get more money if you answer more questions, you dumb idiot. And then you have to answer the big question. You get that one right, we're gonna give you one million dollars. It's in cool. Yeah, that's what she never said to me. Alright, let's go. She said, oh my god. I like the lifelines. Peak. Copy. There you go. And then I don't know the last one. Did these kids ever get any money? Probably not. Yeah, I believe you, Jeff. Also, he's wearing a dress shirt, dress jacket, and jeans. I like that song. You gotta tell everybody that you're not smarter than a fifth grader. Are you willing to accept those terms? Oh, yeah. What the fuck happened to her face there? Oh my god. That was a creepypasta for a second. What the hell? So he likes reading and history. She likes science and grammar, geography and language, music and grammar, vocabulary and earth. Let's start with Katie. So she likes vocabulary and earth. So let's go. That's fourth grade. That's all her. Let's go. Earth science. What form of precipitation is deposition needed? Um, rain. If that's the answer you want to go, locking in. No. There you go. We just lost our lifeline because we didn't know the difference between rain and snow. 
And I hope our face doesn't do that creepy pasta thing again. During the deposition, water vapor goes straight into being a solid without coming out of liquid first. They never fucking taught us this in school. Okay, she also likes. Yep, she likes vocabulary. I like burgers, and I also enjoy hot dogs. Which is an example of a triple rhyme. Plate eight, extra exhale, greenery, scenery. That's that. Nice. And she's not doing creepy pasta face anymore. Okay. Animal science and grammar. Let's let's help Aaron out. Aaron, help us win money. Thank you, Aaron. High five. Which subject do you want? So she likes animal science. What subjects do you feel comfortable with? My best subjects are animal science and grammar. Okay, right. animal science and grammar. Got it. Um, which are both first grade things. Uh, animal, animal science. science. Which of the following pets is a reptile? A python, a tabby cat, a guppy, or a finch. It's a python. Lock it in. That was pretty fast. More importantly, though, you're right. Woo! Hopefully we can change our character because I'm not liking this lady. Grammar. The punctuation is missing from this sentence. How many teams do we need to participate in the tournament? Question mark. A. Lock it in. Oh man, we're kicking her out of the class. Um. Okay, we only have three people left. Uh, Dave. Come on, Dave. Be a bro. Be a bro. We need some money. What's his favorites again? <laughs> Music and language. Okay. Oh shit. Third grade language first then. Which is the Spanish word for tongue? Lengua is an E. You answered that one pretty fast, and believe it or not, it's the right answer. I've eaten delicious lengua before. On a, on a delicious platter. Num num num. Man, my school mom is doing great. Okay, and then he also likes music. So let's go. Oh shit. Da, 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 da. That is a an octave, right? It's, let's just copy his notes. I think it's an octave, but I'm just gonna use that cheat. Like okay, he said it was a minor skill. Fuck! You you ruined me, Dave. It was an octave. Oh man, she's gonna say it. It was an it was an octave. Well, See, I should have just done with it. Alright, I got a D plus. Yeah, cool, we're not gonna get copyright striked. Okay. Um, let's go. Let's have Marley help us out first. Crap, I already forgot what she wants. No! Geography and history. Got it. Oh my god, she's the fifth grader. While in China, Marco Polo served the court of what famous ruler? Oh god. You know what? We're just going to copy. We're going to trust. There we go. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. Hobble icon. Okay. All right. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> uh, let's go. Quick play. You can use the, uh, yeah, I know. Oh, you can use the, the chat pad Math Mania too, guys. Oh my God. Oh my God, Lois. Oh my God. Okay. All right, Tom. We're just gonna have you help us out, bro. He likes P.E. Second grade. 
Which sport would you wear a helmet? You would wear one in football. Boom. Easy peasy. This game goes by a lot quicker. World geography? Cool. World geography. What country is this continent? I have no idea what that is. Um, we're going to cheat and we're going to just copy off Tom. Woo, that was Europe. Thank you, Tom, for not being a shit ass. Um, animal science and measurements. Aaron, help. Okay, first grade measurements first. Let's get there. How many seconds are in 10 minutes? That's 60. No, that's 600. 600. Lock in. Why did I think it was 60 seconds? That's one minute. Man, my creepy lady's really creeping me out. And then she also likes animal science, right? Okay, animal science, go. Whoosh. What's missing from this food web? Grasshopper, lichen, oak. Your classmate is locked in already. Well, if she's locked in already, then I am just gonna peek at what she said. I don't know what the shit a food web is. Ferret. Nice. Well, thank you. Um, let's see. All right, Katie, come on. Vocabulary. I know she likes vocabulary, so we're doing that one. What verb is a homophone for something that's been smashed into parts? Break. I'm Jeff Foxworthy, and fuck you. I'm smarter than you. That's what he really said. Everybody's doing some funky dances. You see that shit? Alright, what does she want again? I am so sorry. Science and life science? Shit. Um, life science then. We're doing it. True or false, the kingdom Monera, bacteria, and kingdom Amelia share the same trait of lacking a cell nucleus. Your classmate is locked in already. Fuck. Darn it. True or false, the kingdom bacteria and the kingdom Animalia share the same trait of lacking a cell nucleus. I'm going to say false. You've got 50 okay, good. Awesome. Nice. We're cranking out all the hits. See, you just learned some money. Alright, Dave's gonna help us out. What does he like again? I keep mashing the buttons. Okay, history and science. Got it. Uh, world history and science. Cool. Peking was part of the... Think the Ottoman Empire. That is Fuck you. Well, whoops, lol, it's okay. I'm just mashing buttons. Come on, lady, get out of my life. Mongolian Empire was the second largest in the world. Alright, we got 25k. Now I have to say it into the microphone again. I am dumber than a fifth grader. See ya. Oh, fuck, no. Get out of here. Yes. What are the achievements in this even? Oh my god, there's 30 of them? Win a million dollars. Play a perfect game and win a million dollars with an A plus and not using a cheat. Correctly answer five in a row on Xbox Live, Xbox Live, Xbox Live. 25 total across extra credit. Answer 6,000 questions correctly. Get a million, million. Complete 12th grade. 50 million, 20 million, 10 million, 5 million. Currently answer one question from every category. 1,000 science, history, play 100 games, million homeroom. 
Xbox, Xbox Live, Xbox Live, Xbox Live, Xbox Live, Xbox Live, Xbox Live, Xbox Live. Well, I'd have probably only got like 100G out of this entire game. So I'm going to say, on some guy named Nate show, I put a game in and I say on One Off Theater, will I ever play this game again? And on One Off Theater, I'm going to say no, I would not play this game again. Only if I was playing with my friends or if I just like had a lot of cheats. Like I pause the game, look it up on Google really quick, see the answer, and then jump back in. That would be the only way I'd continue playing this. So tell me in the comments if you will continue playing Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader Game Time on the 360. I know I won't. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next Jeff Foxworthy.